Hey, what is up guys? How's it going? It's Ivan here again and welcome to part 2 of Yellow version 3 series where we're learning how to use Yellow in Python, how to train your models and how to, you know, collect training data and all the, all the Yellow stuff, like train stuff, you know, train your models in the cloud, all of that, like, that I'm trying to share here, super excited for it. And now we're getting to like the really, really, really cool stuff because it's about the time that we learn how to install Darknet, aka the framework where YOLO was written in. Um, and this is gonna be the YOLO fork uh, for from Alexei AB, which is like a Windows port for Linux, for, for Darknet, for Windows that also works perfectly well on Linux. In fact, like the installation process for Linux, I think is actually much simpler, but we're, you know, gonna go through how to, you know, install it on Windows, compile that with OpenCV and CUDA, and then I'll give you some hints to how to do that on Linux. And, you know, I've, I've done all those steps on Linux on Google Collab where like there's a virtual Linux machine so I had to like install that stuff there so like it's possible to you know do all that on both Linux and Windows although on Windows it's like a bit tricky so like um, when I was like figuring it all out it took me quite some while to kind of you know wrap my head around what's going on here so really excited stuff we're gonna install Darknet Compiled with CUDA and OpenCV, we're gonna be able to process videos there, process images with, like, if you have a GPU, you're gonna be able to do that with your GPU, and then, of course, we'll, you know, use that, you know, folder with, you know, installed Darknet, where you'll be able to train your models, and we'll be able to do that. So, without further ado, guys, let's get started. So, okay guys, um, here's the spiel of, you know, what's gonna be happening here now. First of all, you gotta, you know, get this directory, get this, you know, darknet repository on your machine. And you can either, you know, go and git clone it, which works super well, or you can clone download in the zip format. I did that, so here I have it. Darknet master, let's, you know, unzip it and we'll start working with it. So, I'll just give you like, <laughs> you know, some, some idea of what's gonna be happening here, like what's the main difference between the Windows version and the Linux version. So, basically, okay, there we have it, Darknet master. So, basically, if you're on Linux, then you gotta, like, if you're a compiler with OpenCV and Kuri, like, you gotta, you know, install all that stuff, like, the Linux app the gateway, I'll, like, leave a link to a Jupyter notebook from Google Collab, where, you know, I've basically installed all that stuff from the Linux command line, so you can kind of get some hints on how to do that there, and, you know, basically then, once you got all your dependencies that you want, like, OpenCV, which I, you know, recommend you install because we're gonna use that to compute anchors in the future. It's a real important stuff to make sure that you're, to make sure that you'll be able to train your models well. And, you know, and Cura, obviously, if you have a GPU. I, I don't have a GPU. I mean, I have a GPU. It's an AMD GPU. So, like, unfortunately, it's not gonna work with Cura. However, you know, I've just downloaded Cura, so just for the educational purposes, I'm gonna, you know, try to go through all that. So, okay, first of all, like, the Linux way, what you gotta do, you go to the Darknet master repository that you've cloned for, from GitHub, GitHub, um, and you gotta, like, basically get, open the make file with, like, any editor that, you know, works for you, just go, like, open, go desktop, go to the darknet master folder 
select all files and then open make file. Okay, there we go, it works. So, like, basically, I think if you're on Linux, like, you must be familiar with it, like, you probably are familiar with it, kinda, I guess. But basically, here you specify what, like, in what way do you want your direct network repository to be compiled, which is like, do you wanna have here a GPU? If you wanna have it, like, if you have a GPU here, you put you put a one here and like if you want to compile with OpenCV you put a one also here. Um I think that if you're just installing Korea you don't need CU DNN and honestly I don't really know what they stand for. I mean on Google Club uh, all I did was to modify GPU install Korea and OpenCV like you know worked super well. Haven't I dived into all that but like if you understand like what's going on here it's not gonna be like hard to get all the other stuff going, but basically that's the main step you can basically then go and save. So now if you're like going again open that repository. There we go. Okay so that your files were modified and then like if you're in Linux you Go here, go to the command line here, and you run the make command. And the repository will stop making, will stop like building on itself. Um, on Windows, this trick does not work properly. Like, I've tried it, like, I mean, maybe you could like install some Linux commands here, but it's not the best way to do that, that I know of. So, Here's where things get a little trickier on Windows. So, the way that you build Darknet on Windows is by... So you have like this folder here, built, Darknet. Here you have like a bunch of .cln, .cln files, which are basically like Visual Studio projects. So, I mean, you're probably maybe guessing like now that we're gonna need to Launch all those guys in 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 in, in Visual Studio and build the repository. And since we're doing that for OpenCV and for Okura, we're gonna have to also you know install those first. So if you go to the repository and like search for compile OpenCV. So. Basically, like if you want, like if you if you like want to kind of get some nuances going here, you can go to the repository and just. Basically, here's what we're gonna be doing here: install Cura and OpenCV with these files. I mean, I've only really done it before with OpenCV. But hopefully, it'll work with Cura. So, yep. Here's like the Linux stuff here. Here's the. Windows stuff here. So, what we gotta do is to install OpenCV. Is to what do we have here? Nope. So we we gotta download OpenCV. I'll leave the link to that in the description for sure. So you go here. We'll start basically downloading your OpenCV and. I've already got this thing here, so if we look here, then in how to compile on Windows, it says that OpenCV should be placed basically like in this path way, you know. So like C, then OpenCV 3.0. Okay, guys, so here's a throwback from the future about like maybe 10 minutes you know of ahead of where we were and I'll basically show what I mean by why we need to put you know open scene in this path so basically this project will open in Microsoft Visual Studio it'll be looking for open CV module and they'll be looking for it in like exactly those paths so 
basically like a look for this person this open cv like we we gotta get this open cv 3.0 build include folder like in that way or we can like change the path here if we want like place it in a different way but that's like it and then in linker or also we gotta specify the build folder so basically the builder will be looking for open seal module in, in those paths so that's why we gotta place um open cv there in you know exactly that way that we gotta do so okay now i'll just go back into the past or like however that works you go to the past i don't know guys but you'll go somewhere now hopefully open cv build and include so like let's do that i already have open cv here but like, let us like rename this guy like open cv 3.979346 yeah like it so now we're gonna launch the thing that we've downloaded here the open cv installer open cv 3 and we're gonna extract it to C All right, so there we have it. We can now go to the C drive and we'll find here our... Where is it? All right, we have it here. Just can see it. Okay, there we have it. And so, got this path here so basically when we'll launch that that sln you know project in visual studio it's gonna search like if we're compiling with open it's gonna search for the module on our you know on this specified path and the specified path is as we remember from here will be oh no, it will be open cv 3.0 and here open cv folder so we'll do that and just throw all the stuff there there we go so now it's kind of like this guy here so like the visual studio project like is scripted to search for open cv in this path if it's for like some reasons not there you can edit that in the you know in the properties where you specify like from where do you take the packages and see how i i'll show that i think so then we gotta install visual studio Basically, like, we, you can Google stuff like Visual Studio, just install, whatever. So you, so, so you go like here, and just download, download the Visual Studio, like make sure that it's all like working correctly and all that, like Russian browser guys, but but try trust me on this one like this button here button here is like download for free like uh, Russian lessons in the middle of Yo, tutorial, guys bear with me like, like that's what we're doing here Okay, so get the installer you install that stuff. I think I'll just put up the window here What like how like what what C++ compiler you know that stuff you wanna Installing your Visual Studio So like once you did that Oh great great great. So basically at this point if you have open CV and Visual Studio installed you can just go to You can go and just open your project N Not a new project, but actually a very specific project. So we go to the desktop darknet master belt darknet 
actually if you're just looking to compile darknet with OpenCV just choose this guy darknet no gpu dot sln so 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 it'll load the project and then like so let's say that it's using some Some, you know, earlier Visual C++ stuff, like, don't worry about it, works. I've tried it. So and then what you gotta do here, so basically like this project is like, gonna build your darknet node GPU dot exe, that, you know, exe file, which for me should be able to like do all the awesome goal stuff that you might wanna do. So and in order to do that, you just click here, release, x64, and then you go to build, build darknet node GPU, and if it runs with no errors, then you've got this. So it, it'll throw a bunch of warnings, but like, for as long as it doesn't just crash, it's good. As long as it doesn't do that, like it's good. If you're having some troubles, you may go to the repository to the GitHub page and kind of just read. For instance, now we're basically doing that. You don't have a GPU, install OpenCV, like put OpenCV in the right folders, and then start that project and set x64 release and then build. We're doing that, and we're gonna try to do that. Hopefully, that'll work. So it says built, one succeeded, zero up to date. So it says basically that it's good. So let me go and kind of try it. So in order to you know test whether our OpenCV compile thingy is working, we go to Darknet Master Build Darknet X64, and there we should have Darknet No GPU dot XA, and click Darknet No. There's a bunch of dark nets. So we can basically test things out by by, by by running a detection on the on an image that we have here in this data set. Basically, if you if you done the last if you like watch the first tutorial, watch what what only for it is to have a yellow version three weights. So we can like copy copy the, copy the weights here. Here, here, where near to our exe file. There we go. If someone doesn't know, like I took the weight basically from here, yellow version three. And there we go. Download the weights from here, and CF CFG will. Of yellow version three will already be will already be here. So here we have like some test images here. For instance, horses. There we go. And to see whether like everything worked, what we will do now is just run a detection on those hearts. So we'll call darknet no GPU dot exe. Then we'll pass the command detect. Then we'll have to specify our model with CFG yellow version 3. That CFG is basically the configuration file that you know has a bunch of data on like what are the convolutional layers, like how many classes are there, and, like all that stuff, the configuration file. Now we'll specify the ways that we've downloaded and have put in the folder LV3 that wait waits. And then of course we'll need to specify the image that we're working with. That we like wanna make the predictions on it will be horror says that GPG JPA G run that should work. 
doesn't work, those horses are gonna get set to. Better work, yellow, you better work. The, now this open CV screen should pop up and give us the predictions. As you can see, like it's running the CPU. So it's taking some time to execute, namely eight seconds, but there we go. There, so there are the horses. So it's been for installing Darknet with OpenCV with no GPU and now like I'm gonna try to you know do that with Quora even though I have an AMD GPU and you know like hopefully it'll work. If not, then we'll see what's gonna happen. But there we go, there we have our horses. So okay guys, I've honestly tried to you know, install CUDA here and compile all with CUDA, but it seems to me that I haven't got a bunch of things to make it work, like no NVIDIA drivers, no GPU, no like anything, so there are errors in the installation process. Um, how, however, like, if you get the idea with OpenCV, like with what we were doing with OpenCV, that's pretty much the same stuff. I think I'd like link you to a video that explains how to install CUDA on, on Windows and if you're on Linux um, I'll I would link you to go to my github so so and once so and once you're here you can kind of see what commands that I have to run on an empty Ubuntu machine to you know, install all the necessary stuff for OpenCV. Like, to then git clone the repository, to here... There's a bunch of outputs. To install OpenCV here, and then... And then how to install CUDA here, how to, you know, download it, so... That's how you do that on Linux. Haven't tried that on Windows. Got no, you know, hard hardware to basically do that. And yep, just one last thing I want to show is how to process video on 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 on, on in Darknet. So all right, guys, I really hope that you were able to figure out how to compile, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, how to compile your darknet with Cora as well as your whether you're on Windows or on Linux, I really hope that, because like once you get like the main like spiel of what's going on on, you know, on Windows with Visual Studio, it's kind of, you know, easier to figure out the rest, so, you know, I hope that at least you know, you've gotten closer to that goal and that it's all working or have worked, so... And if it haven't, I really, really hope that it will, like, ask me questions, I'll do my best to help, maybe, you know, I'll ask some friends who's done that. Anyway, um, let's now learn how to process the video once we've done that, we know how to process the images. Now let's do with video, I've got this little lazy video of me basically going through Google Images, like, there we have it. And, yeah, let's try to process that in Darknet. So we'll go to our Darknet node GPU. Since that's the, you know, Darknet that was compiled only with OpenCV. So we'll call the detector command, demo, now we have to specify the like uh, coco that names file specify in coco that data and coco is basically the data set of AD objects in which yellow was trained so it can use the its you know labels to kind of match the indexes that it predicts with the corresponding you know labels and like actual classes that, that it represents. If you watched the previous part, you probably are more like familiar with, with what's going on there. But like that's the names file that it needs to correctly um, 
like place the labels labels basically so we'll, it's in our data folder now we have to specify our model it's the low version cg now we'll specify our weights that we've downloaded CL version 3 that weights then have to specify our file which is which is which is test video test video that mp4 will say we can't put here don't show to not display the open view window that you will see like in a moment when we launch this all but i'm not gonna do that so because i want to kind of show what's happening there so test video that mp4 then will specify the output file name which will be result that av now we can launch, launch this thing there we go so again because the like again because the pressing is gonna happen like on my cpu it's gonna be real real slow for like real cases video, video processing i use you know the collab version of yo the version that was set up on google collab where they give you a free gpu which is awesome have that on my github gonna cover that further but for now i'm i i'm really glad that you've gotten this far in the series i hope that you found this useful and we're gonna cover lots and lots of more exciting stuff with you know gathering the training data with you know setting all things up to train with like modifying cfg files anchors all that stuff in the future so if you're like interested and it you know helps you figure out your yolo and accelerate your progress you may smash that like button and consider subscribing so that you can stick around and not miss it and I wish you all the best, really hope that it helps ask uh, questions everywhere you want, uh, like I'm there to, uh, like I'm here to help, so I wish you all the best guys, and yeah, I mean let's just wait till, till process one more frame and then I'll basically go <laughs> and I'll finish the sentence. Okay, just real quick, I just went through the videos and I saw that my computer basically freaked out and everything just froze and stopped, so I'll just show you the results of what we've got in like 2 minutes of pressing my CPU. There we go. Result at AB. So, and that not much, not much, but like, again, the speed was 0.1 frames per second so um so yep there we go so i hope you're having a fantastic day i wish you all the best bye guys